Okay, let us proceed with question number 6b. Question number 6b explain how receptors of nervous system communicate with effectors. How receptors of nervous system communicate with effectors. So, it is seen as if tough, but it is very easy question because receptors, they communicate with effectors through the neurons. There are neurons which are taking, taking information from the receptors to the central nervous system. Then there are neurons which rely the information within the central nervous system. And then there are neurons which are taking information from the central nervous system the, to the effectors. So here in short, you should explain something like the simple reflex action. That is, information from the receptors, they are carried by the sensor neurons to the central nervous system. And then after the interpretation of the information within the central nervous system, information they are carried by the Lili neurons within the central nervous system before they have gone to the motor neurons. And then the motor neurons takes the information from the central nervous system to the effectors where the response is taken. And then brief describe how structure of synapse ensure that signal can only pass through it in one direction. So this is one among the adaptation of synapse and you are required to brief describe. If you are told to describe means explain with diagram. So I can explain a little here. In the structure of synapse, as you can see, there is presynaptic knob and then we have postsynaptic membrane. Or postsynaptic knob. Now, here we have vesicles, vesicles, and then we have mitochondria and things like that. So, in explaining this question, you should consider all of these facts. And here we have receptor molecules. So, how does the synapse ensure impasse? travel in one direction. The first reason is that the presence of the vesicles containing neurotransmitters only in the in the presynaptic membrane. Presence of vesicles containing neurotransmitters is only in the presynaptic membrane or only in the presynaptic knob. And then if these membranes, if these Vesicles they fuse with the membrane and then they release neurotransmitter. Also, we have only receptors in the postsynaptic knob, so that the second reason presence of receptors only in the postsynaptic knob or postsynaptic membrane. But the third reason is that we have we have the enzyme which break down acetylcholine only in, in this side, and if it is broken down it can't go back and take the impasse again. It goes back at the particles, that is acetyl and the choline. And we have only mitochondria in this presynaptic knob. So presence of mitochondria only in the presynaptic knob prevent the fusion of the acetyl and the choline in the postsynaptic knob until they fuse back to the presynaptic knob where they can get energy from they can get any from mitochondria and then they can fuse to release, they can fuse to form acetylcholine which is stored for, for future use by the synapse. And then question number seven, evaluate the importance of light and dark reaction processes of photosynthesis to life. So this is simply as evaluate the importance of photosynthesis kusabu. Light and dark reaction of photosynthesis in your coil is a sound I'm talking the importance of photosynthesis. So, for here, Nekuzi, same importance the photosynthesis and Bazo Unazua. It might be more advanced than the condition of Kini. You just use Zira Zira and Bazo shares your labor or level and a Kungineco. Confound of photosynthesis convert radiant or solar energy into chemical energy. 
the same gets stored in organic food as bonds between different atoms. Lakini pia fluorescence ina provide energy ambayo other organisms they are using it. Kwa kuna mambo mengine kama fluorescence inatengeneza oksijeni, inapunguza carbon dioxide concentration, inatengeneza labda sources of the fuel or sources of the and things like that. So I know they are they are known from our all level studies so no need of just staying and losing more of time in that and in question 80 this is section b now and in section b every question carries 15 marks so paper one if you are able to manage these topics in in section b will be better in paper one so here you are required to state in question 8a state rules of estrogen hormone in reproduction estrogen hormone in reproduction and for this i could suggest understanding biology to have just mentioned it well so here you are just asking about three rules and for sure for me i don't remember them in head now so I am just telling you to go and, and review the the understanding biology or maybe it will review my, my my notes here so as maybe I can I can help you the rules of estrogen rules of estrogen of estrogen oh okay estrogen is here estrogen it is stimulate development of Duct system of breast inhibit follicle stimulating hormone release, inhibit prolactin release, and therefore inhibit lactation. Stimulate growth of uterus, particularly muscles, increases sensitivity of myometrium to oxytocin. So, estrogen has function like this. And for the sake of time and for the sake of the thing we discuss, I can't explain all of this now. So maybe if we follow up in my production lectures, I have not uploaded them, but I will upload them later. So question B identify and describes three stages of birth out of labor. This is also explained well in biological science. So, of course, reproduction is a very long topic. And for me, I have noticed which are quite three, and they are almost full reproduction. So, very long topic. Sometimes studying it is just like betting because sometimes it can come a question which you don't remember and you find yourself in the very bad condition answer that question question number nine with the helper diagram explain the structure of stomata i hope this is not so much tough but also transport is the very long topic kwa hiyo huku yani huku ni karibia topic zote ndef labda kasoro ni ni labda kama kutolea respiration lakini kwa mfano hili paper la mkajana wa kutoa hawa kutoa respiration hii paper fmb na kuminatisa hawa kutoa respiration so they ask two reproduction questions, the one transport question. If you depended on respiration, imekula kwako. Itaidi tu sasa ufanyeje kusome. Ili swala kuminalo, then it is very easy. Draw long to the section of mature capo at its fertilization stage and indicate the parts which carry out the following rules. So receive pollen grain, that is stigma, transfer pollen grain to the ovule, Pulling gland to the ovule, then fuse, 
transpapulin gland to the ovule that is pollen tube and then fuse the male gamete to form zygote attachment of ovule to the ovary although they are very protected the egg cell describe the event leading to double fertilization implant so confano iso la kumi bi describe the events leading to double fertilization implant malake ni weleze kwamba kuna ficha gani za plant ambazo zinasababisha double fertilization itoke hizo events zina zina zinaangalia sana kwa mfano ni kwamba presence ya two male nucleus ambayo mmoja atenda kutengeneza pollen tube then yule mwingine gem tube nucleus atakapokuwa anashuka kwenye ile pollen tube nucleus atanda go mitosis to form two identical nucleus which one of them will fertilize the diploid cell and one of them will fertilize the the, the haploid cell so also the formation of the female female gamete or the formation of the 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 female gamete yes, is what leads to double fertilization because there we see that there are two nucleus remaining there and that's what lead to the to the formation of the double fertilization or to the event of double fertilization but also in this question if you have time you can just explain just explain the mechanism of double fertilization in plants just from gamete formation you can't explain because it will be a very long question explain mechanism of double fertilization in plant and that's all about paper one let's meet in paper two i hope we will be together so that i can explain some of the important things thank you